In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a xylophone out of paper. This xylophone only has two tubes on it, but um, the xylophone that I want you guys to make should have a total of eight different tubes of different lengths. So let me just pull this one aside, show you the materials that you need. You need one pe uh, piece of pa uh, stiff paper, and you need uh, multiple pieces um, of one color paper and multiple pieces of another color pa uh, paper. And for this xylophone, I'm going to use eight pieces of yellow, one, two pieces of green, and the heavy paper. Um, instead of using heavy paper, you can also use uh, a manila folder if you like. You can use whatever is available to you. You will also need uh, pieces of string total of 16 one foot pieces of string or yarn. Uh, you'll need a pencil that we're going to use just as a form. You need a cylinder, something like a large glue stick, or you can use a piece of pipe. That'll work. You will also need a hot glue gun and also you need some scotch tape. So those are all the pieces, all the parts. So let's begin by making the, uh, uh, the green tubes that you saw in the xylophone. The green tubes uh, will support the tubes of the xylophone. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a pencil as a guide, as a form, to roll the paper around. You don't need to use the pencil, but it does actually make it a little easier. Now this tube doesn't have to be perfect. You see that I'm just rolling it along and then I'm just going to take some scotch tape and tape it and then the other end. And I'm done. And you can uh, push the, uh, uh, the pencil out using another pencil, if that works, or you can shake it up. Just set that to the side. Now I'm going to make the tube um, for, for the xylophone, the, the xylophone tube itself. I'm going to use the Elmer's glue stick. I'm going to roll it this way. There's no magic to doing this. Very simple. Uh, if you have a better way of doing it, you can try your better way. I'm just going to use one piece of tape in the middle. That should be enough. And shake that out or push it out using a pencil. So that's a tube. Now you're going to have to make eight of these. What I did previously is I made some tubes ahead of time just to save, save some video time. So you see I have strings attached to this one. So I'm going to need two more strings, two more pieces right here. And I'm going to just tie this near one end, about an inch away. So I'm going to make a knot. And not too tight. You don't want to crease the paper, but you also don't want it to slide. Do the same thing to the other end. I'm actually making what's called a square knot or a scout knot. as opposed to a granny knot. Okay, that way it's not going to slip. Okay, so I have two tubes here and I'm going to take a pair of scissors and I'm going to make one tube shorter by about an inch. That way I'll be able to have different notes on my xylophone. Now to put it together I'm going to uh, lay down um, well, actually, I'm not ready to put it together totally. First thing I need to do is I need to tie these to the green support rods. So in the same fashion, I'm going to tie this together. And this is going to flop around at first, but then, you know, as you bring it all together, it, it'll, um, it'll bring some stability to what you're doing. So 
So watch as I do it. You know, that was a granny knot. I think that was two. Okay. Now do the same thing here. So you're going to have to do this one at a time for each tube. This is tight, not too tight. You don't want to crease the paper, you just want it snug. And it's important you have a knot so it doesn't uh, slide on you. Okay, so I'm going to just trim these pieces of string. Okay, this kind of looks like a ladder. Make this symmetrical. So you see that going from the longest tube to the shortest tube, you're going to get this kind of a V arrangement of those green paper rods that you've created. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this upside down. I'm going to arrange everything perfectly the way I want it to lie on the paper. So I'm just going to adjust this a little bit. I want it to look nice too. Okay, so I want the... Um, the tubes to be parallel to one another. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue on the knots. And then take my stiff paper and lay it right on top, just like that. Now with eight tubes, you're going to have a total of 16 globs. So you should be able to almost immediately flip it over and there's your xylophone now what does it sound like well i'll let you try yours